Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. I'm Zach. Shane. We are back with The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 10. You remember what happened? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Do you remember what happened? I do. Have yeah. some salt and uh, tech yeah. and Omega. Yeah, they're having their, their kind of moment. I, I think Omega needs to learn a little bit how life might really be. Yeah. And tech needs to understand subtlety and he needs to understand, like, you're talking to a kid, you, your job is to, you know, to be honest as you can, but also try to comfort them. Yeah, you, know you have mean? to be gotta, without you read fucking lying. You gotta read the room. Yeah, and he's just obviously his brain's wired differently. So he said, "You trust me?" He's like, "Well, I understand that you're just capable of doing it." Yeah. <laughs> and it just um, she shook her head, and then she's like, "All right, just give me the shit." Yeah, but yeah, they're staying on this planet until Sid can send help. But it's a, it's a few days away. Yeah. They're running out of rations. But we're here, and they still want their ship back. So we'll see if they get it back. We'll see if Sid gets here in time, <laughs> guys. If you want to watch our full uncut reaction, just go to our Patreon. There's a link below. Uncut. And then come back here for our post talk. Let's post jump in. On board, I'm hot and I'm starving. I told you to preserve your rations. Well, I got hungry. The skips a heap of junk. Yes. But with a few repairs, it'll be a slightly operational heap of junk. Not the ship. I mean, we can track clunky. Oh, ingenious idea. Try doing a trace on his binary reference code. Marco, it's Benny. My scouting run took longer than expected. But I found something you're gonna like. Lower the shield. Is that one of those cat people? Yeah. I swiped it for like the poking around the old mines in the northern territory. Definitely a unique look as far as Ligarian. So good to you. No, Mako Honest. I thought you could make some money off of it. That's all. I swear. Yeah. Alright. I believe you. But I'll have to sell it off piece by piece just to be safe. This will still put me in contention for. Top earner this round, right? I think it might be my favorite droids. Gongs? Gong droids, yeah, they're freaking cool. I think I found Gonkey. <laughs> yeah, I get the Imperial Probe droids are pretty fucking cool looking. Yeah. Very retro looking. Face. Yeah. The Gonkey's still on the planet. The Marauder must be too. Let's get this thing running and find out. Gonkey's signal is pinging from down there. Gonkey! I'm reading minimal life forms in his proximity, but an unknown number in the subterranean level. This place looks worse than the abandoned spaceport. We'll do a split approach. Stay alert. What am I gonna do with the defective power droid? <laughs> That's our defective power droid. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> Gonky. You okay? What do you care how that thing's doing? It's just a beat up old battery. Not to us. Let's try that again. Where's our ship? Can you be more specific? The one you stole yesterday? Your ship's his now. Yeah, we'll see about that. Take us to it. No way. I can't help you go against Mako. You don't know what he's done for me. <laughs> all right, all right. I can show you where your ship is. He's kept this operation running ever since. So you're an Ipsium miner and... A ship thief. Mako says they're useful skills. Stealing's not a skill. It is when you're good at it. You can't use blasters inside an Ipsium mine. You'll destroy everything and everyone in there. Cut your losses now. <laughs> one covert infiltration point. How big of a window is there? 60 seconds. Plenty of time. Glad you're also confident, but getting cooked alive wasn't on my agenda. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> you can go once we have our ship back. It's because the Ipsium's become degraded. Mako had to lower wages just to keep this mine up and running. These are still working. Your ship's in the upper Thank garage. God for Mako. Mm -hmm. Come on. I know a shortcut. No tricks. Hey, I'm not trying to get caught either. There's your ship. I held up my end of the bargain, so I'll be off. Hang on. Where's Gonky? The hyperdrive has been removed. You didn't ask me what 
condition it'd be in. How's that my fault? <coughs> Relax. It's not a complicated fix. It better not be. Grab the hyperdrive. Let's make this quick. What about the ray shield? We still need to shut it down. We can only do that from the central tower. Let's go. No way. You stick out too much. If you don't trust me to go alone, she'll blend in easily enough. You see the control room's on the top level. We can't just walk right in. Only Mako's inner circle has access cards. We'll need to swipe one. You're not part of his inner circle? Not yet, but I will be. I'm working my way up. But if Mako finds out I helped you, I'll be sent to the mines. So act natural. <laughs> Others continue to fall short. You were right. No. I stole the ship, and it still didn't make me the top earner. We shouldn't have to compete for food. That's how it works here. We have to earn our share. Let's spank his ass with a belt. They really treat you like you're Beat one the of buckle. them. Marco did that. Doesn't seem like he cares about any of you. Why don't you leave? You're wrong. Marco's kept us in business. He said with more time and more digging, we're bound to reach better MCM soon. Besides, to the town. Yeah. Why are we fighting? That's what I know. I get it. Our ship is our home. The only one we really have. I'm uh, sorry I stole. Here. You can have my rations. But why would you give this to me? For helping us. Yeah. But I still have to connect the primaries to the guidance system and adjust the Navi computer. The weapon system's online. We're not engaging. The situation for these kids is bad enough. Marco appears to be using his power and means as leverage over his workers. It is a similar tactic used by the Empire. Although this operation is on a smaller scale. Hey! Who are you? Uh... Marco Service. <laughs> Easy. Most of this data is just Marco's profit reports. I thought you said that Itzium here is the greatest. It is. Not according to this. I see that. I thief from another thief. Nicely done, Benny. I'm impressed. Where are the others? Garage Bay. Once they shot, and we're all done for. We don't miss. <laughs> I believe you. But I think you'll reconsider. Throw your weapon. Once she goes over. You lied to us, Mako! The Ipsium's not degrading! You've been cutting us out and keeping the profits for yourself! That's a lie! Now look at that! You never cared about us at all. And I have the proof right here. Let me see that. No one's going to take what belongs to me! Take care of all of them! Good to have you back! Yeah! Here's your stuff. All of it? Yeah. Don't you trust me? <laughs> okay, that's fair. But it's all there. <clears throat> so, what will all of you do now? I guess we'll keep mining Ipsium. That's what we know. You can be whatever you want. It's a big galaxy. You don't have to stay here. It's not so bad. And with Mako gone, we'll all be getting an equal share of the profits now. We've seen so many in the galaxy like Mako. Unfortunately, yes. However, there are many like us out there as well. 
Right. See the little thing he has? So, Zachary, you got the end of that little arc. What would you think? I enjoyed it. It reminded me of um, the rundown with the rock. I've been good to you. Yeah. Bitch, you a town. Yeah. Why are we fighting? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, uh, once you kind of see, like, because every time the... Every time a thief completely screws over my characters, I get this murderous rage. Mm. Just the idea of you stealing, you're gone. And you're just like, what could, what, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You just want to find the person. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, when you put both episodes together, there's a lot of variants. Like, they travel there, they're in the mines, they go into water, they get out. And then they're helping these kids break out of this really cool kind of almost like this old trilogy industrial looking place. Mm. I thought it was just being there was really cool. It was a kind of a unique design. Industrial looks in Star Wars. Yeah, uh, it's always good. It kind of reminds you of the inner heart of Be Bespin. Yeah, Bespin is really mm -hmm. probably the main one right there. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mentioned Ray Shield. Had to lower the Ray Shield by going to the central tower, which mm -hmm. is where we found the Prophet reports. Mm -hmm. But not before Benny still acting with, in his own interest because it's all he's ever known. Yeah. Uh, betrayed them. I like the idea now that they're going to legitimately run this operation. So I haven't watched the whole thing. I keep rewatching like, the first three or four episodes and I get busy and I don't watch it for like a year. But it's Gundam Blood Iron Orchids. Yeah, I saw that that and like Seed are on Hulu. But yeah, I just I never bothered watching them. I, I was always hesitant because I know there's the UC is the Gundam Mark. Like that's kind of like the central timeline. Yeah, it is. But I just, and... like, I grew up on Gundam Wing, which has its own arc. And I, I thought that was, like, one of the best things I ever watched. And I know I've watched on Netflix, there's a movie, like a modern movie, you, you know, that using the old timeline. When, when I've seen yeah, modern cool. renditions of the the RX Gundam, it, it was a lot cooler than, like, when I tried to watch the one that came oh, out. Oh, you're talking about Gundam Origins? Yeah, it's Gundam Origins. Yeah. yeah, where they just went back and they did read... Basically turn the original movies into a series. Yeah, it's yeah. like four or That's five episodes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I watched a little bit of that, um, and I, I thought that looked pretty cool. It was. Uh, but, Gundam Unicorn was great. I really liked Gundam Thunderbolt. No, I, I thought it was a good end of the episode, not particularly like the deepest thing. But yeah, I thought it, it ended good. with like a little action punch. and You know, that's Zygerian like fat-ass Mako. Mm, a great it, disservice. It, it dishonors the name. Yeah. It's not I spelled mean, the same. If you're doing don't. anything that, I don't know, like well, why would you risk dying just to... Like, tell Benny, like, he's never should have betrayed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, get him back later. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I liked it. You know, I know at the time when this is coming out, a lot of fans were like, this is filler. And I'm like, I don't know, because it, it kind of moved the characters forward. And, you know, we're telling stories of this crew. Like, some of my favorite stuff, and I guess in Star Wars, is not always the main story. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like the characters. When you have characters that you like, you can go on adventures with them. And, yeah. You know what I mean? If you guys don't want to wait until next Thursday, check us out on Patreon for early access, especially two week early access, because we have that one, uh, Crosshair episode. So, that being said, we'll see you later.